y'all in Jasper, Georgia. Made it to my dad's house. Man, what a challenging day it was today. Anyway, everything was smooth except for having to leave the family. That sucked. <clears throat> Son's just getting over strep throat. Wife's kind of snotty as well. Um, so saying goodbye to her at the airport was bad. My son was out of school today, so he stayed home. That was sad. But anyway, got on the plane. Things were good. Got to the rental car place at Enterprise. So Enterprise rental car in Atlanta. Don't use them. Can't stand them. Uh, basically had a reservation that they didn't honor when I got there. Uh, long story. I might put it in my journal tomorrow or something. Won't waste your time here. So we ended up having to go to over to budget rental car to get a car. Going to use it to get up to Springer tomorrow and then drop it back off tomorrow. My parents will anyway. Anyway, I'm already on a rabbit trail here with this story. But uh, bottom line is I'm in town. Finished finalizing things on my ruck. Um, getting the gear in place. Going to get up and eat some biscuits and gravy with my dad in the morning. Man. I wish y'all could taste his business and gravy. They are fabulous. Um, so what a way to uh, to launch. Best launch meal you could have. And if I was on death row and they gave me uh, one last meal, it'd probably be his business and gravy with uh, some scrambled eggs on top. All right, y'all. Looking forward to it. Man, I appreciate all the well wishes coming in on YouTube. I'm starting to get some regulars coming in, man, and I like that a lot hope we have more as it goes along I will continue to try to answer all of your um, at least questions or comments or whatever uh, really enjoyed it man and really humbled got over 500 subscribers now when I posted my first video I was begging for one um, now we're doing pretty good and we start tomorrow and this is all of our journeys not just mine and uh, look forward to it look forward to taking you guys along with all right, man. Uh, we'll see y'all first thing in the morning. Heading up to check in at Amicalola, sign in the book, and then going up to Springer. Um, see how it goes. Check in tomorrow. Deuces. Hi, early riser 7 1. That should look familiar behind me. It's the view from Springer. Here we are. A rucksack in the back, sitting by the flag, just signed in the book. Joe. He just started his through hike this morning. No trail name yet. I'll try to catch him here in a minute. Man, I'm excited. My dad just dropped me off. Um, no words can describe. I've seen this in everybody's video. My brain's no different. I cannot wait. Um, I have to throttle myself back some because I'll be like a racehorse and take off and pay for it later. So anyway, sunrise is coming up. Hope everybody's having a good February the 16th. It is 8.46 in the morning, early riser, 7-1, pushing north. All right, y'all, this is the first part where it wasn't so rocky I could pull the camera out a little bit. Coming down off a of Springer, still haven't made it back to the parking lot yet. Can't see it on the ground. A little bit, a little bit cold this morning. A lot of ice on the rocks coming down through here. Um, wind is howling, probably getting up to 20, 25 miles an hour. So I'm guessing the wind chill up on Springer was easily in the teens, if not lower. Uh, beautiful day though, who cares? Sun's out, we're prepared. Got the right clothing on. Gonna see how far we make it today. I've got a primary and an alternate point picked out in my guidebook. Would like to do, gonna at least do 15 to Gooch. See how the body feels. Got set up on spring, I gotta throttle myself back a little bit. So we'll see how it goes. All right, y'all. Absolutely gorgeous. Scene right here, sun coming through the trees. 
workout down to just a base layer shirt my short sleeve shirt underneath it and now I'm to a hat probably still in the 30s but just came up an incline so it warmed up pretty good just passed a couple of uh, section hikers are gonna stop at Unicoi but it's good talking to them All right, y'all, see you up the trail. Ready to rise her out. Nose is running a little bit. Hey, it's 11.45. Made it to Hawk Mountain Shelter, or the entrance to Hawk Mountain Shelter. You can see it right there behind me. Um, not gonna go down there. I just wanna stop eating an apple, cause it's heavy. Didn't talk much about pack weight this morning. I'm right around uh, 36 pounds, 38 pounds. I'm sorry, 36 or 37 pounds. That was before the two apples. I think those two apples probably added about 15 pounds because rut feels pretty heavy today. But I'm so excited, man. It, there could be 100 pounds on my back and I'd still be moving out right now. I'm doing good at eight point whatever Hawk Mountain Shelter is. It's right at the end of the lower. Um, two and a half hours. Uh, really easy terrain though. So I think you can get your hopes up. I'm gonna push on here in about 10 minutes. Start heading towards Gooch. Um, may stop there and eat a late lunch, early dinner. And then the plan is to push on to Woody Gap. We'll see, we'll see how the feet feel, how the body feels. Um, right now doing good. Hope everybody's doing well, enjoying it. What a beautiful day out today. All right y'all, deuces. Past Hawk Mountain Shelter, whoever left us here, man, God bless you. Very special, it's right by our road. I'm gonna write thank you on the jugs if they come back to get them, put more out. But man, if you're watching this video, uh, man, you're just proof that humans are good and we don't give each other enough credit sometimes. Appreciate it, y'all. Creek, beautiful. I'm gonna actually use Aquamara for this go. Um, just cause I wanna try it out. I'm fairly convinced that you can just drink this. Oh, what the hell? I got Uncle Mom. I'm gonna try it out. Actually, I put mine in two smaller bottles. This is kind of my emergency stash in case something happens to my Sawyer Squeeze over the next few weeks. Um, but this is part B, this is part A. You take off a cap like this, and then you put seven drops of each one inside and then leave it for five minutes. And um, it's gonna turn colors, actually. There's gonna be a reaction. So those are clear going in, and you can see now that it's greenish yellow. It's got another minute or two. Then you're gonna add that to a liter of water. Now I didn't put, I think I put five drops of each or six drops of each in that one because I didn't quite a liter. That ain't gonna hurt you anyway. Um, so if you hadn't seen it, you're just gonna put that, you're gonna dump that into your bottle. Like I've already done it with my liter bottle here. And then it's a uh, wait 15 minutes um, till it's safe to drink. It's that easy. All right y'all. So this was a gravity filter that I was talking about that I didn't explain very well in my gear video. So, <clears throat> every new bag, Sawyer Squeeze, regular size, connector I got on Amazon, hose going down and I just cut the hole in the smart water bottle cap, jam the hose down in there and as you can see, tons of water going in there. This is almost too fast for the video. <clears throat> Obviously the Sawyer Squeeze is clean, very clean water that I'm filtering. 
So you can see this is a really good technique to get some water in there and you can use your hands to do other things, whether set up camp or whatever. All right, hope that helps. All right, y'all. It is the end of day one. I am here at Gooch Gap. My tent is set up right over there. And it looks like a uh, yard sale over there, so I don't want to take the camera over there. I have y'all uh, make fun of my yard sale that's in the tent. I'm about to go clean it all up right now. Just got done eating dinner. <clears throat> now, I am at Gooch Gap by the road. Uh, I'm about a mile and a half almost. Yeah, about a mile and a half past Gooch Gap. Uh, Gooch Gap Shelter. Uh, there's a lot of people there. Three more I passed that were heading there. So, <clears throat> not my gig to stay in a shelter with 10 or more people. Um, I like the solitude. I like meeting people. I like talking to people. Eventually, I just like the solitude, though, when it's time to go to bed. Um, takeaways from the day. Uh, for me, it was about an 18.1 mile day. That counts the mile going to Springer and then turning around and coming back to the parking lot. So I counted that mile. Um, but from Springer to here is 17.1. <clears throat> I wanted to do 20. This was my alternate. Uh, it is what it is. Um, we'll get into why. I'm going to try to do this quickly too. Three, under three minutes. So <clears throat> Springer to Hawk Mountain. Um, Man, it's good that it's that way. It's easy. It's flat. There's very little uphills. It tricks people who are trying to go a long way like me today. Because um, once you get past Hawk, you start getting your ass kicked. But that's good. That's what we're all out here for. Springer and Hawk, good. Fill up on water at Hawk. Because water from Hawk to Gooch, man, is few and far between. Not necessarily to, to the shelter, but just Justice Creek or Justin Creek. Anyway, it's about a mile before Gooch Gap Shelter. Beautiful creek. I filled up there. Uh, but coming over Horse Gap and Carter Gap, man, they're going to kick your ass. And there's no water anywhere. So just make sure you're full when you leave Hawk. Know your body. Um, <clears throat> people can go a long way. Like, I'm going to be a little bit sore tomorrow. I know that. But I knew what doing a longer day today for the first day, I knew what that's going to do to my body tomorrow. And I'm going to be fine. Um, I'm going to go roll it out here in a minute with my massage stick that I brought. Everybody saw it. Um, <clears throat> I wore compression sleeves around uh, my calves today. Man, and they feel just as fresh as they can be. And now I have compression socks on my feet um, to go ahead and help them recover as well. So just know... You do damage to your body every day. Ask yourself what your recovery plan is. If you don't have one, then you're already behind. How are you going to recover yourself? <clears throat> Especially when you start out on this thing. Um, you know, I got aches and pains right now. I'm about to go massage them out. Wake up tomorrow and uh, going to be good to go. So keep in mind, what's your recovery plan? If you don't have one, get on YouTube and search things that you can do. It's starting to get dark. <clears throat> um, that's about it for today, man. Having a blast out here today. Um, a lot of people, like there's a early bubble, and it's out here today a little bit. Nothing like what's going to happen on March 1st, but um, for everybody that's watching these videos, I'm not going to film any of the shelters. Um, most of those are on <clears throat> um, YouTube already. Uh, I'm just going to film different things that interest me and I hope they interest you, but I'm more than willing to film more of something for you. Uh, if you just leave me in the comments when I get a chance to read them, um, I'll definitely, uh, definitely try to hook people up. I uh, appreciate you guys following. I uh, met some people at Gooch Cap Shelter that had seen some of my videos already, so that's cool. Uh, not the intent of anything, but it's, it's pretty cool. It's a close net network out here and it's good to be a part of it. All right, y'all. I'm going to go to bed. It's uh, almost hiker midnight. Uh, see y'all in the morning. Deuces. Early risers. It's, uh, it's a little before four. Um, plenty warm last night. It only got down to about 35, 32, something like that. Uh, man, I was warm, comfortable. Didn't sleep real good. 
didn't expect to the first night. It's going to catch up with me anyway. Uh, man, we can live with it. We're going to pack up, get started up the road, try to get to um, Neil's Gap in time to get a couple items from the store, maybe stay at the hostel. We'll see. Might just move past afterwards and, and camp out again. This tent's awesome. All right, hope everybody's having a good day. February 17th, day two. This morning, 6.44, day two. Gorgeous sunrise. Looking down over a, a town, love it. Moon's up still. I'm feeling good at sec four. Oh yeah, Cow Rock Mountain, ominous. Here we go. Made it here at 7.18. Hour and a half, not too bad of a pace for the morning. This morning, you can see that freaking beautiful overlook. All right, y'all, going that way behind me. There's a head right over there, so I might hit it real quick and uh, get on with it. The Woods Hole Junction. Um, this is where you go down to the Woods Hole Junction. I am right behind me is Blood Mountain. I'm at mile marker 29 right now. And I'm about, I just ate lunch, and I'm about to head up Blood Mountain. I'm trying to make it into Neil's Gap by about two or three. Give me a couple of hours to uh, grab some resupply. Um, maybe shower if I feel like it. <coughs> and then uh, try to get three or four more miles in. We got a good spot. Hopefully I'll blow these videos. Hope everybody's having a good day. Here comes Blood Mountain. On Blood Mountain, just made it up. This is John, he's through hiking. He left on 10 February. Yep. He's from Minneapolis. Just wanted to uh, give him a chance to tell his family, hey, if they're watching. <laughs> Hi to everyone back home. See <laughs> you soon. <laughs> All right. Deuce is on two nils on Blood Mountain. Just made it up. This is John. He's through hiking. He left on 10 February. Yep. He's from Minneapolis. Just wanted to uh, give him a chance to tell his family, hey, if they're watching. <laughs> Hi to everyone back home. See <laughs> you soon. <laughs> All right. Deuce is on two nils. Nils Gap, it's about 12.52. So not too bad, start at 5.45 this morning. All right, I'm gonna go in here and take care of some business, get back on the trail. 